Hello, Rory from Data Spinners here, and in today's Tuesday tutorial, uh, it's, I'm going to do a slightly obscure bit of um, tuition, so to speak. It's mainly because uh, the latest kind of gamification thing that comes out uh, uses this quite heavily, so I'm trying to give a bit of um, guidance as to how that works so i think what i'm going to do is just kick off with the the app in question and really just so that it's a it's a game and you make choices and things like that so you have uh, you have this idea of um being able to kind of scroll through so to speak you make choices eventually um and based on those choices you get to see a different um piece of text now, the way in which the text works, it essentially uses this concept of first filter table condition dot field. So that's what I've um, indicated on the um, on this in this area here. Uh, and the way I'm going to show you how it works is is if I get an Excel spreadsheet like this. Um, the idea is this is a table. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to do go on to here, I'm going to insert table because I'm going to pop this into a um, I'm going to pop this into um, a uh, an app uh, shortly. So let's go with that. I'm going to call it um, let's call it fruit. 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 Okay. Um, and the idea is you this concept of first filter. Um, is that say for example on this index number uh, say for example it's not been done correctly and you've got one two two four the idea is that you're filtering it down to two so you're filtering the table down to two um, and then you are focusing in on a particular field so if I just hide those but then the reason why you need first is because it it can never decide between the two um, and even if you're using a field that is an index field and it will always be unique you will still need to use this uh, concept so the way in which it manifests itself in the app um, itself is that if you look here you've got this concept of first filter this is my I think it might be a SharePoint list um, the location is this ID but what I'm going to do is I am just going to quickly um, going to going to go on to the file. In fact, I'll go on to this um, spreadsheet here. I'll do file, save as, um, and I'm going to put it on the desktop somewhere. So just me pause while I do that. So we're back in, um, and we're going to go to view, uh, go on to data sources, add static data to your app. We're going to go on to desktop, I'm going to get my fruit spreadsheet and then it's going to ask me which table which is a bit mysterious because it says table one um so i'm just going to go with that and see what happens it should actually be my fruit so um and i am going to um going to create a new um going to do it's going to pop a blank screen in there new screen blank screen okay let's have a quick look at what's in the table so go data table and on this occasion i will go table one which should be yeah so it is this this idea of the fruit you can see that it's it's there um so what i'm going to do now is show you that i can home in on one of these items so let's say for example i want it to, to be peach say um then what you can do is you can um let's say i had a label um and into that label i want that this word peach to appear what i would do is i would do first um in fact i do you go filter the table which is the table one and um, where um the index number equals two and then you're going to essentially wrap that with the first um, filter around that and then you're going to tell it which actual field you require which in this case is the narrative column so in this case I said index number is two now um, 
that's kind of it kind of looks a bit ordinary at that point but if this index number is a variable then what we can do is we can insert a button and uh, we can set uh, on select set uh, gv uh, my num equals gv oh, gv my my num plus one close the brackets um i think it'll actually be no it's not equals it's actually a comma um and so if i press enter on that that's good and then instead of instead of having index number equals two we can have it equals gv my num and what that does now bear in mind gv my num has not actually got a number in at all and um, it means that if we go on to here and we actually hit the button the gv my num will become one and it's apple hit it again becomes peach uh, pear plum and it's as kind of simple as that but but and the reason but the reason i've kind of showed you all these things in combination is because um they uh, work so effectively in this uh, the game that i've um, put together it's kind of simple um so you've got all these choices you can make and you can sort of see there's your condition sitting in there it's the same it's the same idea so hopefully that has been interesting to you it's probably just me and my mum that will watch this but if you've got something out of it then please like it and please subscribe it's always good um and uh, see you again soon do drop anything in the comments if there's something you'd like to see and uh, see you again soon bye